answer for iOS. The first release of this app was in October 2022, so just some months ago, but now we've got the third version, to be more precise, the 3.2 version. And what a great change! The answer team has created a good application for iOS devices, so iPhone and iPad. This app works like the desktop version for Windows and Apple computers, for videos and images software, so for almost everybody. But what about Android? So far, Android has been not much consideration, or at least in the, the answer website, there is no sign about it. So come on, the answer team, it's time for Android version of your great work. Hello everybody, welcome back in the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna make a short review of the answer for iOS devices, a software for simulating old analog films. But before going on, consider to give me a like to support my channel and give me more motivation to keep on. And don't forget to subscribe, it's always free. Well, let's see how the answer works for iOS. In my case, I'm gonna use an iPhone, but it doesn't change if you use an iPad, the software is the same. Be careful, because not every iOS device is suitable for the answer. The answer is compatible with Apple devices, starting from the iPhone XS, iPad Air, 3rd generation, iPad mini, 5th generation, iPad, 8th generation with a 12 CPU. And about the operating system, you need to have the iOS 15. And later, you know, to install a software uh, on iOS devices, you need to download from the Apple Store. Once downloaded and installed the Answer app, you have to download film profiles. And after, you need to select a photo or video to edit. But first, remember that you can export up to 10 photos video for free, but paying a subscription removes this limitation. Ok, after having chosen a film preset among many available, you are ready to work. The graphic user interface is pretty simple, the image is selected, a bunch of controls and at the end 4 buttons, maybe R buttons. Compression, developer, expand and print. Usually on a negative negative film, clipping in the highlights occurs much later than on a digital camera. To emulate the film like compressed tonal range, the answer has invented this film compression tool. It lets you fine tune uh, the redistribution of the highlights. The resulting image looks more analog and becomes more uh, flexible for further manipulation with exposure, contrast film, prints, profile, etc. The conventional analog approach makes it possible to process the to process film by individually configuring the formula of the developer solution and the development process. Film developer tools allows to make your own developing receipt depending on the source material, shooting condition and creative tasks. Expand tool provides a separate manual, co manual control for black and white points in relation to the output color space. All films naturally have different contrasts, different black and white points. At the sampling stage, we avoid digital correction to preserve the individual features of the films, which ensure a fair and convincing simulation. So, film profiles in the answer, without additional adjustment, usually lack contrast, but at the same time, they have a lot of headroom for creative adjustments. Optical printing is the last stage of the analog production. As the result, we get a paper print for direct viewing or a positive film for screen projection. Both can be scanned for digital delivery. Optical printing is the only analog solution that can be used for proper interpretation of the, of the negative films. Beyond the technical significance, any print medium has its own tint, photo latitude, and contrast curve that makes it a useful creative tool. Ok, we send that. Now we can select a photo and select a preset to use it. Now I'm gonna change various settings like the tonal contrast, the saturation, and the color density. Then we can change the black and white points as well as the color mode like the luma or normal mode. Other settings are related to the film grain, where you can set many options, the elation, the bloom, as well as the vignette. 
with the feature to check out your world is the histogram, where you can understand if you are clipping the lowlights or the highlights. Of course, there's a button to see differences before and after editing your image. Talking about presets, as you can see, there are many, but you can also create a new one based on your needs. To hand, you can save your work and maybe share it on social media. That's it. As you can see, this app, this app works really well. It's intuitive and simple, so will not so you will not have strange surprises. Okay guys, it's time to say goodbye. Let me know what you think about this software and if you like this video, please give me a like and consider to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.